Now, I've heard enough about these names being on buildings, and I'm tired of apologizing for the Vandals always that their names are on buildings. I'd like to name a few more after him if he'll kick in some more. It's just uh, we had a lot of fun with Peter when we uh, did the Cook DeVos building and uh, argued a little bit about whose name should be first. And uh, I said, Peter, you've given so many odds and ends around here. We're going to put your name first. I said, in fact, if you like, I'll take my name off. You can do it all. No, he says, I don't want that. I said, well, then you're stuck with my name for a while. And we had Les Tassel on the string, and we invited him over for lunch one day down at Grand Valley, and Les was in his 90s at that time. He, man, he had a beautiful blue sport coat, sort of like, like Brooks over here, you know. And I got, I met him in the parking lot, and I said, Les, you look like a million bucks. I decided once upon a time it was going to be a teaching university, that this is a school that pays attention to the students. Not that there's anything wrong with research and all the other things universities do, and we do some of that too, but we focus on educating the students who come here. I can recall not too many years ago when we began to talk about the downtown campus for Grand Valley. At that time, they had no presence in the city. We need this university downtown. Can you imagine what our city would be like if we didn't have Grand Valley downtown? And so this university today is one of the impact builders of this town. Someday people will come to this city just to go to that school. That's our plan. And as with a lot of the plans we've had, that will happen. Lord willing. Timing is important. Somebody said to me, you know, 50 years ago when Amway began, it was a difficult time. Why did you start it then? I said, I don't know. I didn't know it was a difficult time. And for some of you, it doesn't matter. Because you see, as I said to them, it is the only time I have. This is your time. Now, who are the next group of people who are going to carry on? I see Jim and Donna in that role at the moment. It's the evidence of the faithfulness of God in our lives that people rise up to assume responsibilities. And that's the history of our community. People who want to give, give. That's just the way we are. And the people you and I are going to call on and ask to give will give now or any other time if you ask them as i said to a lot of people if you want to be socially accepted in this town and you want to be into the right circles you better be a giver the entry card is being a giver not being high on the corporate ladder but being high on the giving ladder you can't build a school like this with just money it takes spirit a spirit of love and caring and a spirit of respect for each other this is a special place that God has placed us in. I am grateful for it. I thank you for being what you are. Your contributions have made this city what it is, uh, not just Grand Valley, but everything. Thank you, Mr. DeVos. Thank you, Mr. DeVos. Thank you for supporting our education. Thank you so much for everything you've done for Grand Valley. Our vision looks forward to the impact we're going to have on the lives of the students who come here. Thank you, Mr. DeVos, for the wonderful campus you've created here at Grand Valley. Thank you, Mr. DeVos. You have changed thousands of lives. The kind of people who are going to come out of here who will go beyond and become the visionaries of this community. Thank you, Mr. DeVos. Thank you, Mr. DeVos, for this wonderful building, which is helping further my education. You've done amazing work down here. Because they were encouraged and trained and strengthened and loved, I trust, in this community. Thank you, Mr. DeVos. Thank you for everything you've done for the GB campus. Thanks, Mr. DeVos. Thank, Thank you, Mr. DeVos. I love you a lot. <laughs>